Everybody's getting it, James G will even jack Cause I'm a beast on the track, when I fucking rap Okay, enough of this garbage, I'm causing a carnage I'm switching the barriers, I'm seeing the cabbage on this bastard Yes, yes, yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Shanti And I'm about to dish you uh, hip-hop news, guys Hip-hop news, hip-hop news Ladies and gentlemen, please support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing Even if you don't have anything to say, leave a comment Whatever comment you want to leave, even if it's your I see you, please leave a comment, guys. If you view, please leave a comment, guys. And don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. So let's get into this, guys. Today is a uh, 10th of uh, January, all right? What does that tell us? That tells us that tomorrow, Caligraph Jones and Sakodi will be dropping their joints, man. They'll be dropping their joints. Uh, Omolo. Omolo. So please, guys. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, man. It's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. We uh, got a snippet. Uh, on, on IG. So here we go. Here we go. This is a snippet of uh, Sakodi's rant. Sakodi said, "Pull up, and they're ready, and they're running for for cover." I got the stamina to what? I got the stamina ready for any rapper, bro. This 2021 is gonna be fire. Right, this 2021 is going to be lit, guys. So you know what to expect. You know how it's gonna go. All right. Um, Caligra Jones has been teasing this for a while now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we go further into this, uh, I have to bring something else to your attention. Nah, this is part of the news, guys. This is part of the news. Now I am hoping that something great will come out of it this year some some kind of fire shit will come out of, the, out, of, out of it this year now if you guys remember um south african ogs to be t uh gave his list a while ago and uh his list of top mcs in africa and almost all the mcs were from south africa right now some of us saw that as offensive right but uh yeah it's what it is however the og uh struck again uh there's a a, a reactor a new reactor on, on, on the block uh steve busa gs he does his he he, he has this uh what, what they call it um I'm trying to remember right now uh scorecard reactions lit reactions bro lit reactions uh he 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 he, he, he reacts to the songs and then judges them by scorecards so he did a lyrical joe reaction and then he put it on twitter and said this lyrical joe joint hitting man and then he put um emojis like smoking like psh, and uh stogie t replied him and said true like bro what do you mean by true what do you mean by true are you saying lyrical joe's uh uh songs are not hard are you saying lyrical joe doesn't rap that hard are you saying uh steve is trolling so people some people responded somebody said um, i'm not sure that's my claim said i'm not sure what uh stogie t meant but well let's see uh lots of people responded but uh i then responded and said uh not many rappers from SA that can go to the to with Lyrical Joe do OG. Now, uh, the OG did not reply me. So I also I also tweeted and said, for real OG, Akaligraph Jones dropped Luanda Magere Legacy uh, last year. I was hoping SA rappers would take the bait. Respectfully, boss, I think there will be a lot of exposing if SA rappers got in a lyrical spot with the East or the West. You might be shocked. All right. Now, I did that because uh, the OG obviously only rates um, SA rappers, only rates MCs from uh, South Africa, and um, I think that is a big error. So with him saying lyrical joke, uh, with, with with him commenting true under the comments of someone who is present lyrical joke, I feel like man, at some point I would like I would I would like to see I would like for some lyrical spots to happen either between the east and the south or the west and the south let's see what these sa rappers are really like right let's poke the beer a little let's see let's see how soft they are really on, on, uh, under the belly so that was my uh thought that was my thoughts of course the og did not respond but that was my thought that was my thought so uh let me know what you think about that guys let me, let me know what you think about that do you think og stogiti was stripping or do you think i was the one who uh, went overboard do you think uh would you like to see uh, some kind of uh, lyrical competition between rappers from the south and rappers from the east or from the west? Let me know what you think, guys. And also tell me, 
do you think uh what, what do you think is the reason south african rappers did not respond to kaliga jones luanda Magari? now all this happens as uh Kaliga jones will be uh dropping uh his song tomorrow now uh we're moving to sierra loan guys sierra loan now you all know pontifex the guy is a beast on the mic pontifex has this uh magical pen that uh he uses to destroy uh uh beats so far the man hasn't gotten in a diss track with anyone uh he threw shots at uh i know at uh, uh salon jq right which salon jq did not respond now you guys know that uh, recently lyrical joe and the soprano had a, a bit of a clash and we might be seeing the soprano responding to lyrical joe lyrical joe subliminals on the song real talk uh, lyrical joe threw some subliminals at the soprano on real talk where he called him a one-eyed rapper but he did not call his name but they were subliminal so we're, we might be seeing the soprano responding now check this out guys check this out uh pontifex took to his facebook handle to to, to uh to post to comment he said Fuck it, I'ma say this. Nova Soprano Bobo in safe. Where he go release weak weak this against LJ. So he's saying uh, Nova Soprano's diss track against Lyrical Joe was weak. He said the nigga for don't pay me for a ghost verse or for even right time for um, for free. So he's saying uh uh Nova Soprano's diss track against Lyrical Joe was weak, and that Nova Soprano should have paid him for a diss track. Should have paid him to write a verse. He said or even fuck that that he would have done it for free for Nova Soprano. Uh, that. Uh, Nova Soprano should not have released that weak ass this track because uh, uh, he said now LJ don't destroy him on Real Talk. So Pontifex listened to Real Talk and believed that Lyrical just uh, subliminals destroyed Nova so so uh, Soprano. So he's saying Nova Soprano should have uh, paid him Pontifex to write Nova Soprano's this track. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think Nova do you think Pontifex? Um, uh, personally, I feel like this is a shot at Nova Soprano. Nova Soprano is a rapper. Uh, I mean, this man is a warrior on his own, lyrically. So for uh, Pontifex to say this, man, uh, that that's a shot at, at uh, Nova Soprano's pride. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think that uh, uh, Pontifex will be able to go up against Nova Soprano? Do you think he will be able to go up against Lyrical Joe? Do you think Pontifex was right about Soprano's diss track being weak? And do you think Pontifex would have written a better diss track for Soprano? Let me know what you all think, guys. God bless. Don't forget to watch my uh, chats with uh, uh, with uh, Jigs Illustration. I'll be dropping it soon, guys. God bless. Pizzo on the track, I'm the one that make him run I'm the one that drop it hot, fuck with me and you get shot They can get me if they plug, I'm the baddest of the luck I'm the baddest of the luck